You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. What's up fam, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm gonna welcome back to the channel my OGs. Thank y'all for your continued love and support. And I wanna welcome to the channel any new viewers. If you're liking how we are vibing here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you to be a part of the family. Let's go ahead and jump on into this message here. Going to clear the energy out first. Give us an angel number before we get started on on this ninja energy here we're going to see what this ninja talking about right here okay the angel number that we have here is 1616. Ooh, okay this fell on the floor too 2323 so we got 1616 which talks about readjustments it talks about overcoming obstacles uh soulmates coming into your life romance coming into your life more affection and support coming into your life as well and comfort as well. It says your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right. On the horizon is a possibility of a new romantic or platonic friendship, as well as a chance to begin life anew with the person from one's past. Everything will fall into fall into place. OK, number twenty three, twenty three. It talks about charisma and communication. OK society movement journey repetitive uh circumstances and patterns it says there's so much truth you're resistant to accept over and over again until you're tired and restrained beyond depression it takes a decision to live life for yourself life is all about passion then you can make then then you make a change and the world around you follows so this is about spirit is telling you right now it's, it's time for you to to do what speaks to your heart to do what you want to do is what I'm, I'm i'm hearing to follow your own path to not care about what society thinks what people around you think if it makes you happy or if it's blissful to you then you do it right if you're not harming yourself you're not harming anybody else then live your life it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying it could be somebody around you who's not wanting you to date a certain type of person or to take a certain type of job or to live in a certain type of a certain place or to, to put your hair a certain kind of way it could be anything or to follow a certain type of path but it's up to you at the end of the day. You have to follow what, what's best suited for you, okay? We have Ninja, okay? So this says that your power is silent but deadly. You bother no one unless provoked. So people around you could be seeing you as some sort of <laughs> silent ninja, like deadly but silent. Like, yo, don't mess with that person because that person is very, very silent. They're very, very quiet. They don't bother nobody. But if you cross a path, then you better watch out because this person is going to annihilate you. Feel me? People could be looking at you like that. Like, you're not the one to be messed with. We also got Brawler here. It says lack of empathy and confrontation. So there could be people feeling like you're somebody like you're somebody who like a, a, a throw down or throw hands or or <laughs> you could be com com combative um or somebody could be looking at you as like you mean this could be somebody from your past looking at you like you're mean okay i'm getting that here this could be somebody from your past is looking at you like oh well this person they've changed they're no longer the same type of person anymore uh they're mean you know what i mean <laughs> me they're mean you know what i mean you guys may be changing your looks, okay? And there may be a lot of talk, a gossip about uh, some changes that you've gone through. You see what I'm talking about? People talking about you, your person, or the connection. And you might have you might have made some sort of beauty improvements. Or you may be thinking about making beauty improvements. Uh, with the exercise, hair, body treatments, makeover, whatever. But I feel like this is... I'm getting that it's working, okay? Whatever you're doing... Or whatever you're planning on doing is going to work for you. Uh, you will have people from your past or people. Um, you have people from your past looking at you as like you've changed. OK. And some people are trying to make it. I'm getting it. Some people are trying to make it seem like you changed for the worse, which I'm not. I don't I don't I don't feel that here. All right. Somebody can be looking at you as. um an enchanter we got the captain we got the poet and then we got the gambler let's see what this what's going on here 
And then we got the queen. I just heard off with off with their head. Somebody, some, there's somebody around you who's thinking that I'm getting because you've set boundaries for yourself. Because you are not allowing people to play with you. Because you may have, but this over and over again, you may have ended a cycle with somebody who you've given chance after chance. People, you've given chances after chance. You may have stopped doing that, or you stopped doing something that you you people have known you for doing. Okay, and now you're doing things differently. You've elevated. You're moving up. You're overcoming obstacles, and you're opening yourself up to new people. Okay, and there's some people around you from your past who's looking at you is like wow like who is this who is this person somebody feels like whatever changes you're going through if you have some beauty changes or your aura just got brighter or something like that somebody feels like you're doing some sort of spell work that you're deceiving people through beauty spells or confident spells or whatever you I'm getting somebody feel like you're doing some sort of spell work to, to to improve your life or to attract people into your life. Somebody feels that you have something to hide, okay? You see this, um, this handshake. They may feel like you're working with a practitioner. You're working with somebody, teamwork. To change your relationships. To change your relationship is what I'm getting here. Somebody feels like you sacrificed their old, your old connections. Like you, you've cut people off. Somebody here you cut off is not, they not feeling, they not feeling it is what I'm getting. Somebody you cut off is not feeling it. Somebody you cut off is pissed off. It's talking about it. It's like, oh my God, why this person, why they acting like that? Oh my God, why they, da, 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 and talking to other people and like gossiping about it. And you're no longer, because you're no longer interested in this person, this person could be fishing for uh, trying to get your attention. Hey, 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 I'm still here. This could have been somebody in your life who you, um, who you gave attention to before, who you've. Giving your time, your love, your affection, your support to, but you're no longer doing that. You're taking the chance on something else here. You're taking the chance on something new. You're throwing out. You're throwing. I'm hearing out with the old and with the new. Somebody here is feeling that you are a cutthroat, that you <laughs> they're they're feeling that you that you've turned cutthroats. And that, oh, my God, like, why are you doing something different now? Oh, my God, why aren't you paying me any attention now? Oh, my God, why aren't you running after me now? Oh, my God, why aren't you catering to me now? Oh, my God, why aren't you being my friend now? Oh, my God, why aren't you? Th that's what that, that's what I'm hearing, right? I see Virgo energy on here, too. You could be a Virgo. Somebody could be a Virgo. It's just, it's just a Virgo energy on this reading where you may have taken an analysis of your situation. You may have weighed the pros and cons. And you're understanding things a little differently now. Wow. What else we got with the with this deck? Hustling. Making it rain. Focus on money. Getting it. Yeah, you're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your stability right now. You're not focusing on no on nobody else. Especially if somebody wasn't uh good to you. You're not focused on that. Who hold up, y'all. mind on my money and my money on my mind well you got your money on your mind there's somebody who who's scared to talk to you now unsent messages because you're such a mystery to this person right now yeah you've removed your emotions from this situation whoever whoever this person was you were dealing with you removed your emotions from the situation you step back and you remove your emotions from the situation to get a different perspective different viewpoint and you're seeing things you know uh, differently now.
Okay. I feel like also this person, whoever this is, whoever you cut off. There's a specific individual you mean it could could be a few people for you guys too, but whoever you cut off, this person is now seeing things differently as well. Okay, somebody for somebody your person is now seeing things like oh well, I shouldn't have did X Y Z I shouldn't have did that. Okay, this person may have been hiding something from you and you knew it. This person may may not have been being upfront about their true character and intentions, and they may they might have been remaining closed off. This person might, whoever this is, who's feeling this way, may have been feeling closed off, wait, may have closed themselves off from you. And you may have been like, mm -mm, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. And now this person wants to apologize to you. They want to clear the air or pass things up, but they're keeping it to themselves. They have unsent text messages, calls or communication that talk is not happening. Y'all, this person is like, I feel like somebody probably... But this fishing for, it says fishing for comments. I mean, maybe it meant compliments. I don't know. But uh, this person wanted your attention, but you didn't take the bait is what I'm getting. Because you're busy focusing on yourself. You busy on your own glow up. You busy focusing on you. Hustling, making money, or just bringing more stability into your life. Healing yourself, moving forward. Working on your beauty, working on your exercise, your hair, your body, whatever. Whatever is important to you, working on yourself. And there's somebody who feels like. There's somebody who's shocked at your glow up. Shocked at. How you just left them in the in the dust and how you're, you're shining, you're, you're you're glowing up. And somebody somebody's in shock at the fact that. You, uh, I heard another one bites the dust uh, that you just left them in the dust is what I'm, is what I'm getting. Yeah, you saw this person as a wolf in sheep's clothing and you and you did did away with it. I feel like before even before this person was able to do anything. You got away from this individual and there's somebody there's somebody who's contemplating like how how did this person just like walk away from me and they it's like they don't even care. You may have been getting evidence on this person. You may have photo proof about this person and something that they did. OK. You got the inside scoop on this person as well. A closer look. It says nosy up in your business. You might have gotten an inside scoop on this person. You might have you might have used your investigate investigative skills and found out something about this person that they don't know that you know about them. And then you just dipped on them. <clears throat> yeah, you left this person in the dust, bro. And they're like, oh. What happened to this person? Like, where are they? Like, what? Like, what? What's what's going on? Why are they acting all brand new all of a sudden? I feel like for some of y'all, this person doesn't even know why you stopped talking to them because you ain't even give them no explanation. You were just like, whatever, bye. You feel me? <laughs> and this person, and I feel like this person is like is is left wondering why. Like, is left wondering why you ain't give them no sort of closure. You just like bye. Yeah, waste, you, you were done. You were tired of wasting time. I feel like you are done wasting time with individuals. That era of you wasting time with anybody is over with. You put your foot down. And you set healthy boundaries for yourself. And you're not dealing with anything that's a waste of your time. I feel like this person is, is haunted by an opportunity that was missed. And you dodged a bullet here. Look at this. You don't talk about you block negativity. You escape a crazy person. You are protected. It's a protected by haters. Protected by haters. Protected from haters. And 
for some of y'all, this person was a cyber bully or they they was way they are watching you online. For some of y'all, this person who you cut off, you might have known them online. Or if you didn't know them online, this person is getting online trying to bully you. You may have somebody attacking you. Somebody here you may you may even have somebody attacking you from a um an unknown account. This could be oh, I'm hearing text messages too. Getting weird phone calls. And that's this person doing that because they pissed off. <clears throat> we got legal issues here. It says court, judges, immigration, lawyers. So somebody could be having some legal issues. Or you made the final judgment in, in, in making this call to get away from this person. Okay. Somebody here could, there could have been a spiritual judgment passed down in this case right here. You are reflecting on everything. I feel like you are doing spring cleaning. Okay. You did some spring cleaning. You got rid of people and people don't know how to deal with it. You didn't give nobody no answer. No reason why. You just like, bye, deuces. Get, get up out of here. And there's somebody who's a groupie. Like they don't want to let you go. It's a groupie. But you, but you out here, you unbothered. You unbothered, you don't care. You moving forward. I feel like you got your mind made up. You got your mind made up that you're moving forward, that you're focusing on yourself, that you're not allowing anybody else to, to waste your time. And you are, and I get that you're opening yourself up for new people. That's what I got here. Somebody here, you took a gamble on yourself. Look at this meditation. See what I'm talking about? That's confirmation right here. You guys may have been doing more meditation and you've seen things clearly. You're able to clear your mind, right? And you are keeping a low profile at this time. Some of y'all went into hermit mode on people. Some of y'all like, <laughs> I just heard ghosted. Some of y'all went ghost on people, went hermit mode. And I'm getting somebody here. You, you weighed the pros and the cons. You sat down and said, you know what? Who's a po positive addition into my, in my life and who's not a positive addition? Okay, whoever's not a positive addition, they, they're getting cut off right here and right now. I'm not dealing with this no more. And I feel like it's it was a burden lifted off of you. I feel like when you cut these people off, when you cut whoever this was off or these people, this group, whatever this was, a group or whatever, when you cut them off, you felt better than you've ever felt in a while. You felt a weight lifted off your shoulders. It says stars. The possibilities are, lim are unlimited. Aim as high as you can. So it's like, you feel like anything is possible. Y'all know how like when you have certain people, you're hanging around certain people and they just bring a certain heavy energy around you. And then once you let them go, you feel free. That's, why, that's the energy that I'm feeling here. Is that you felt free by letting somebody go and you're standing in your own truth. You, you're doing what's best for you. Your authenticity needs no explanation. Real recognize is real. That's what you're saying. You're saying, you know what? Oh, no, you do not resonate with me. I don't resonate with you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not playing with you. I'm blocking you. Da, da, da. I, I don't even feel, like I said, I don't even feel like y'all even told these people anything. I'm getting somebody left like a thief in the light, like this ninja. So I'm, I'm getting somebody left like a thief in the night. And people are really feeling it. And people are really salty. And it's like they're telling you, they're making it seem like that you don't mean nothing to them and that they don't care about you or whatever. But the moment you make that change, now it's all different. Now they're focused on you. Now they're wondering what you're doing. Now they're now they're pissed off because how dare you? How dare you? Uh, I just heard sacrifice the con this connection. Yeah. How dare you sacrifice this connection that we had going on and you just don't care nothing about it. And and now now you sitting back looking good, feeling good, showing up good, whatever. And you unbothered. You just don't care. Yeah, somebody's pissed off. And it's like you just unbothered. Somebody may be coming, like I said, coming up against you with uh, like. Uh, somebody is. What do you call it? Creating fake accounts to bully you, to harass you online, and you just don't care. <laughs> I'm going to keep that same energy. You just don't care because you are that strong of a person. 
You don't care. I feel like you're finally putting yourself first. You are finally saying, you know what? No, I can't. I, I, I am the MVP here. I have to put myself first. Yeah, it's like, I feel like when y'all walked away from these people, you knew that it would be bittersweet. You knew that, wow, I mean, I like having somebody, a supporter. I like having a friend. I like, quote unquote, friend, whatever. I like having this person around me because I don't have any any other people around me right now. Da, da, da. I feel like they serve some sort of purpose, but you, but, but the, the, the cons outweigh the pros. And it's like, it was bittersweet. But at the same time, that ending is also a new beginning. You let somebody go and some new people are coming into your life. And you are preparing yourself for that. Whether you realize it or not, I feel like some of you guys are, are you don't realize it, that you, but you're preparing yourself. You're setting yourself up for the next uh, group of people to come in, for the next beginnings, for the next romantic um, person to come into your life, for the next platonic friendship to come into your life. For things to, 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 to balance out for yourself. You are entering into a period of abundance for yourself. While others around you may be entering into a period of decline. And the reason why some of these people are entering, in, entering into a period of decline is because they no longer have your support. They no longer have your energy to feed off of, to siphon off of. They no longer have you to, 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 to depend on. Okay. And I'm hearing they no longer have your favor around them. You are treating your mistakes like learning, um, learning lessons, learning opportunities. Yeah, we got reunion in reverse. You don't want a reunion with these people. There's somebody that wants a reunion with you. They want to come back into your life, but you don't want that. I'm getting they were dimming your shine. You've awakened to who you are now. That's the thing. You feel me? They may have been able to get away with what they were getting away with before by treating you bad. Holding things back from you. Yeah, these are karmics. Yeah, they were there to teach you how to uh, set healthy boundaries for yourself. And right now they're realizing that you're not the same person. That you've evolved and changed. That's why these people are like, damn, who is this person now? Like you've gone through some sort of transformation and it's a good transformation for you. And people are knowing like, damn, I cannot affect this person no more. I, I, this person is not in my good graces anymore. Like they don't see me like that no more. And you got people worried, like very, very worried. And if they, you're coming out into the open, into the world and letting yourself be known because you are, you have this supernova energy here that you were meant to be noticed by the world. Okay. You shine bright, brightly for a reason and you're becoming awakened to that. Okay. You're coming awakened to that. You deserve more. Okay. And that you were meant for more and that you are not meant to be around people who are tearing you down, treating you bad, handling you any kind of way. You're growing. I'm hearing you're growing out of that. You're moving, you're breaking these karmic cycles. There may have been an endless cycle to where you, you constantly dealt with a certain type of person over and over and over and over. Or you were in a certain uh, situation over and over and over and over again, but you finally saw the truth in yourself and that, and that was in the, the truth, your, your true power, your true potential, your true authenticity. You saw that you were a star, that you deserve the best. And now you're, you're aligning yourself with that and you are giving yourself the best. Someone may have been trying to use some sort of sorcery or black magic over you to try to exert some sort of control over you or some sort of mind control over you. But you're breaking through all that. None of that stuff affects you now because you've taken your power back. Right. You've awakened to your true potential. You've awakened to who you truly are. You know that you are this supernova, that you are this superstar and you're shining bright like a diamond. And nobody's going to take that from you now. And if they do try to take it from you. It's ninja on them. You feel me? Your power is silent, but deadly. You bother no one unless provoked. They, they know they know they can't mess with you now. And that's why people are going online under fake accounts, because they wouldn't dare step to you in your face like that and say nothing to you. We see the from their real accounts. 
their unsent messages from their real phone number unsent messages because they would not dare approach you and let you know that that was really them that's why they're hiding behind fake profiles and, and being cyber bullies or sending you messages from fake uh fake numbers and stuff like that that's why they're doing that because you're not playing with nobody right now you're making the necessary adjustments in your life to to to, to balance things out in your life to make your life better And I heard the only way is up from here, baby. You a star. You feel me? You a shiny. See what I'm talking about? You moving forward. Look at that. Five of cups in reverse. You're no longer. You're not worried about any missed opportunities with them. You're not. You, you don't care about that. You've healed from that. You've said, OK, well, if it was a love connection, you couldn't give me what I wanted. Cool. Fine. Or you, you couldn't be a good friend to me. Cool. Fine. Hell, I just heard you couldn't be a good mom, dad, brother, sister to me. Cool. Fine. I am moving forward. And you're determined and you're focused and your your head is moving forward. You're not looking backwards anymore. You're not worried about them. And that's what that's what has a lot of these people shook. You've healed yourself. Three of swords in reverse. You've healed yourself. Yeah. And now you're starting off on a brand new pathway for yourself. Page of cups and um, page of page of pentacles. Hell, could be page of cups for you as well. Okay? Yeah. What was in the dark came to the light. You, you're seeing this is total clarity on your situation. Yup. Close ending of a cycle. Look at this. The world energy. It's over with. You closed out this cycle with this person. There's somebody you close the cycle out with and now they don't know how to act. Now they don't know how to act. They can't accept the fact that you took your power back. They can't accept the power. I mean, they, they can't accept the fact that you're powerful now. That you're that that you, those same boundaries that you had towards other people, you now turn it towards them also, because you know that they were not good for you. Hey, okay, I just heard too little, too late. The only way is up for here for you. You moving forward, and hey, keep moving forward. Congratulations. Keep up the awesome work. Okay. Uh, 1616. Your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right. On the horizon is a possibility of a, of a beginning of new romantic, excuse me, new romantic or platonic friendships, as well as a chance to begin life anew with the person from one's past. Everything will fall into, into place. Okay. So that is what I got for you guys for this message. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonates for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Much love and light to everybody out there. Ciao. Mm -hmm.